What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly Reef Talk. Now, keeping a marine aquarium is an absolutely fantastic hobby and it's growing all the time, but there are still some people out there who don't have a reef tank. Well, if that's you, here are 11 reasons why you should get one. Let's check it out. First on my list is the build-up to getting a tank, the foreplay if you will. Half the fun of buying something new is the research, right? Well, the opportunities for research with marine aquariums are never-ending. You can buy magazines, read books, look at articles online, ask questions on forums, draw up spreadsheets, wish lists, visit your local fish shop, talk to other hobbyists, oh and of course check out videos on YouTube. If you haven't seen 52 weeks of reefing on the BRS TV channel, go and check it out now and thank me later. Number 10 on my list is how different the fish look. You get tangs, butterflies and angelfish that are laterally compressed, presumably for escaping from prison cells, stumpy spiky puffer fish that will inflate to a perfect sphere if they're in danger, tube shaped fish like blennies and gobies that often live in caves or burrows that match their body shape, and of course traditional fish shaped fish. This is just the tip of the iceberg too, the variety is endless, and aside from being cool it's one of the things that will make your aquarium look so fascinating. Number 9 is that every time you go to your local fish shop you will see something different, I must have visited fish shops thousands of times over the years and yet I still see something new on a regular basis. Until a year ago rock flower anemones weren't even on my radar, now they're one of my favourite tank inhabitants. You'll see rare corals and fish all the time too and I absolutely 100% guarantee there will be something inspiring on every visit to your local fish shop. Number 8 is community. Reef keeping is a real people hobby and there will always be someone willing to help you out. That might be your local shop owner, other hobbyists you get talking to, Facebook groups or forums. You'll find frag swaps, aquarium shows and there will always be someone else who wants to see your tank. Number 7 is that the animals we keep just so happen to be pretty damn photogenic. If you fancy yourself as a bit of an amateur photographer, a marine aquarium is the perfect subject to practice on because frankly more or less everything in your tank will look beautiful in a photo. Everybody likes to share photos of the things they're interested in and it just so happens that fellow hobbyists love nothing more than looking at great photos of your livestock and tank, so you can snap away and share on Facebook groups and forums alike. Plus investing in a DSLR camera and an evening class on how to use it will add another dimension to your enjoyment of the hobby. Number 6 is that you get to play scientist. Testing your parameters is a key part of running a successful reef tank and it just so happens that testing those parameters can be pretty cool. There are various test kits you can get, some digital and some analog, and you'll need to get used to precision measurements of various liquids and powders. You can also take it a step further and send your water off to a laboratory in Germany where actual scientists in lab coats and everything will test for everything you could possibly imagine. Number 5 is the cool freaky critters you can get. This hobby isn't just about fish and corals, it's also about all of the other interesting animals you can get. I'm talking starfish, hermit crabs, filter feeding crabs, snails, conches, shrimp, urchins and so on and so on. The list is endless and some of these guys are as entertaining as your fish. And not only that, but they also form part of your aquarium workforce. They sweep up dirt from your sand bed, clean algae off your glass and rock work and keep your sand turning over to stop detritus settling. So in a reef tank, even the animals you buy just to do a job are seriously cool. Number 4 on my list is bioluminescence. The fluorescent pigments in corals are actually proteins. When they are illuminated with blue lights from our LEDs, they give back light of longer wavelengths. And to the human eye, that looks like this. From daytime to nighttime, the same coral looks like a totally different animal. Many reefers have only blue lights over their tanks, which means they get this beautiful look the whole time. Personally, I set my lights to turn blue for the last hour of the evening as a treat. It's a time of the evening I actually look forward to, it gets me out of my seat every evening without fail and I can look at the same coral a hundred times and still see seemingly different colours and contours that I've never noticed before. So into the top three then, and you would be forgiven for thinking my number three would be top of the list, beautiful fish. The animals we keep are some of the most striking in the world. They have stunning vibrant colours, mesmerising patterns and even smiling faces. On the most basic level these vivid creatures are simply remarkable to look at. They'll draw you to your tank to look at as soon as you get home from work and you can while away relaxing evenings just watching them do their thing. 
your friends and family will flock to the tank to see bright colours and won't even notice the beautiful corals you have until they've spent a good period of time gawking at your spectacular fish. Number two is the quirky, interesting behaviour of your tank inhabitants. You'll see small, cleaner fish hitching a lift on bigger fish and nibbling parasites off them. You'll see symbiotic relationships like clownfish making a home for protection in an anemone or even certain corals. You'll see clams retreating into their shells when they think the light has been blocked by an overhead predator. Blind shrimp employing gobies as watchmen to keep an eye out for trouble. And you'll see that saltwater fish don't just swim back and forth all day. They make homes in caves or small holes in your rock work. They perch on rocks, frag wrecks, or anything else they can fit on. They dig themselves burrows to live in that they then guard all day long. They hover in the same spot as still as they can, presumably to avoid detection by a T-Rex. And they peck algae off anything the stuff will care to grow on. Ultimately, they're animals that were brought up on coral reefs in the wild, one of the most competitive habitats in the world. So they've all had to carve out a niche in life to help themselves survive. And my number one reason why you should get a marine aquarium? You will never ever get bored. It's a constantly evolving project, and each stage can take months or even years to master. With other hobbies, you get to a point where you've achieved everything you can, then you just repeat the same thing. That doesn't mean it's not enjoyable, but it's just more of the same. With this hobby, there is always something new, something to progress to. At the start, that might be getting your first coral, then progressing to harder to keep corals like LPS, then SPS, clams, anemones, and so on and so on. And beyond that, it'll be keeping more tricky species of fish that have specific requirements or learning to provide an environment in which your corals can thrive, not just survive. That will lead to beautiful colors rapid growth and mega polyp extension. The day I get bored of this hobby will be a cold day in hell and when that happens I'll just turn the heating up. So those are my top 11 reasons why you should get yourself a saltwater fish tank. In the interest of balance I've done a video on the top 11 reasons not to get a saltwater fish tank so check that out and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future content and until next time I've been the Reef Dog. Thank you, good night.